Hey everyone, Brandon here from the Kabuki Strength offices and today we're going to have a quick whiteboard session for you or actually I guess a TV session. So what we're going to be talking about today is the diaphragm function and what IAP or intra-abdominal pressure actually is. There's a common myth across uh, strength athletes and people who lift barbells that more air is better or that uh, intra-abdominal pressure is actually air filling up your stomach. So we want to talk about what's actually happening from a muscular function and how we can actually improve our IAP with maybe less air. So when we look at IAP or spinal stability, one of the most important muscles is often one of the most overlooked muscles and that is our diaphragm. The diaphragm is this big cone-shaped muscle that sits below your rib cage and when you inhale that diaphragm descends downward into your abdominal cavity. As the diaphragm descends downward that actually creates more pressure in your abdominal cavity and that's what IAP is. That doesn't happen from taking a huge breath and extending your trunk however. In order for IAP to happen uh, maximally or to get the most out of it we need to have a stacked rib cage position so that our diaphragm can actually move through that available space. Another way to look at that is in a simple piston. And the way that works is we see more pressure put downward into that cylinder as more load is assumed or more contraction happens from your diaphragm, we actually create more pressure in the abdominal cavity and unlike a hard cylinder such as uh, would be found in many pistons, uh, our muscular lining is a little bit more malleable than that so when we press out into it there's actually a load assumed into the abdominal wall obliques and lumbar musculature and that outward expansion happens in 360 degrees across our trunk. That's exactly why a weightlifting belt works. A weightlifting belt doesn't work from passive compression and squeezing your abs in. It works by resisting the pressure that you're creating with your diaphragm. Now another way to look at this or a better, even probably a better illustration of that is this video that was posted uh, either on the Kabuki Strike Lab or my page a while ago. And what we can actually see here is as the lungs expand or as the rib cage expands, that diaphragm muscle contracts and presses downward into the abdominal cavity. When that happens, the total available space in the abdominal cavity is reduced and that pressure is put outward into your abdominal wall, into your obliques, and into your lumbar musculature. That's what intra-abdominal pressure is. Intra-abdominal pressure is not filling up your belly with air, one, because air is not physically circulating your stomach, but it is very important for us to understand that it is actually the diaphragm that's creating the majority of the pressure that you are feeling during intra-abdominal pressure. Now, in, to do this, fully or to get the most out of your intra-abdominal pressure, we can't have a big extended position. As soon as we have this big extended posture, that's one bracing strategy. However, by passively lengthening the abs and shortening the, spine, the lumbar musculature, we aren't actually able to use the contractile nature of a our, our abs and abdominal musculature and we're going to be over reliant on those lumbar extensors. So what we want is for a more neutral rib cage over pelvis so that our diaphragm can actually move. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Uh, we'll probably be doing a few more of these videos and as always if you have suggestions for videos or topics you can drop them in the comment, comments, send us a DM or an email. Brandon out.